Wow, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special episode of Mondo Stereo The World in Three Dimensions. I'm your host, the mysterious. Oh, I, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm very mysterious. The mysterious Dr. Stereo. And today I want to present you some things I wanted to present for a very long time. And therefore, I'm gonna transport me to a place that fits what I'm gonna present to you today at the count of three. One, two, three! Wow! <laughs> Where are we? We are at a record store in my hometown Potsdam. Potsdam is near Berlin and Berlin is in Germany and this is the Silver Speed Records record store. The owner was so kind and so nice to let me take a few 3D photos to have a very very fitting background for what I want to present to you today and it is... Huh? Did you guess it? Yes! It's three-dimensional record covers and CD covers as well. So, what is a three-dimensional record cover? Or I, I think uh, the new word for records is vinyls. But it is all the same as long playing records or single uh, records. We come to all this later. Now, this is a very special three-dimensional record cover because it folds out like this. Wow! <laughs> Isn't it great? I've never seen something like this before until this uh, followed me at a local flea market. It's by the very um, good and beautiful uh, singer, uh, female singer Mireille Mathieu. She's a French woman who had a career in France and a career in Germany as well, where she was singing her beautiful songs in German. And we have uh, songs like Tarata Ting, Tarata Tong, <laughs> I wonder what's this about. Then Der Stern unserer Liebe, the star of our love. Of, uh, en français, la première étoile. Then Mon bel amour d'été, my beautiful love of summer. Heute bin ich so verliebt, uh, today I'm so in love, and so forth and so on. So, have another view at Mireille Mathieu's really great <laughs> record cover. She really was a very beautiful woman. So, is the record still in there? Yes, but it's a normal long playing record. So, my dear viewers, that's all for today. Have a nice time and see you soon. Well, man! Are you sure you presented everything you prepared to the viewers? Well, I'm sure I showed everything I had. Oh, no, <laughs> I only showed one record, but I have prepared a lot of records. I have prepared this record. Voila! It is a single playing record, a 45 record, in a very rugged sleeve. It's the 3D dance done by Trans X. And it's a three-dimensional cover. You can watch it with anaglyph glasses. It's a color anaglyph photo on the front of this um, 45. And there's this thing um, with uh, anaglyph, color anaglyphs. You cannot really easily separate them so that I can show it to you with this super modern 3D camera so that you can watch it in the comfort of your own home with a discreet polarized glasses if you have such. We have this one, this is the uh, standard 45 and this is the long playing 45, it's the Maxi, the Maxi single. It has uh, this on the back 
and this on the front. Maybe you want to get out your anaglyph glasses now and try if it works. I'm gonna hold it like this for you uh, for a few seconds. Ine mine miste is rappelt in der Kiste. You can put on pause as well. Search your goggles and then come back and look if it works. It's not that good a 3D photo. It's, it's a nice try that the guy reaches out his hands a little bit. The effect is, um, yeah, what should I say? It's okay. Zack! Here you can see I try to separate it that you can see it discrete. Um, it doesn't really work. It doesn't look so beautiful. So let's get rid of it. Another three-dimensional um, record cover is this one. It's the theme from Friday the 13th, the German edition. German title is uh, Und wieder ist Freitag der 13. Translate into English and again it's Friday the 13th. It's part three uh, in 3D. It was filmed in 3D. It's available on Blu-ray, on 3D Blu-ray. You can watch the movie in 3D at your home, at your 3D television or, or um, Ne? Projector. And this is also a, <laughs> a color anaglyph cover, but it, this is really, yeah, the, the, the glass uh, parts, the splitters here, they, they come out um, very, very, very flatly. It's, it's a nice try, but you don't miss anything if you don't have this in your collection. But as we uh, collectors are saying, um, we, we, we collect things no matter if they are good or bad or, or anything. So, was that all? No. On we go with this record. I am working my way up. I'm showing the, no, yeah, so, so, la, la, the, the quite okay ones at the beginning and the real cool ones. Come at the end of the show. I got a real, <laughs> a real big bag there. So this is a record from Bomb Records. It's called uh, Jesus Loves the Stooges. It's music done by Iggy Pop and James Williamson. It's a special 3D collector's item, includes 3D glasses. And it has a, a, a photograph of a dead animal on the front and a photograph of Iggy Pop in the 70s on the back. It actually was released first on Christmas 1977 on Bomb Records. And this is the re-release from 2010 years or so. It's in orange or yellow vinyl. And the 3D effect is quite nice, but I really don't know why they did it in 3D. Maybe for people to buy it. And I did. And it's printed inversely. That means um, you have to wear the red filter over your right eye. I'm not sure if they knew what they were doing. Next record. Bing! Here we have got something really nice. It's music done by the comic book artist Basil Wolverton. Sometimes he was sitting in his home putting on the magnetic tape recorder and singing some songs. Um, ooh, the little glasses are still inside. Look here. Nice. But then along came the uh, sympathy for the record industry um, in Long Beach, California. And they did this single. This 45. Uh, Basil Wolverton is best known for his preposterous caricatures and wild comic book creations such as Powerhouse Pepper. Not many people know, however, that Wolverton was also a radio host, a radio show host, an accomplished ukulele player. Wolverton lived his whole life in Vancouver, Washington, and in the late 1940s hosted a number of local radio shows in which he staged some outlandish intros and outros to music as well as ridiculous quasi-interviews and skits. This record, which is a 3D zone and sympathy for the record industry co-production, represents the first time that Basil Wolverton has ever been committed to vinyl, colored vinyl at that. Yeah, and we have two drawings of by Mr. Be Wolverton. This one. And this one. And they have been converted by Ray 3D zone to 3D. It's an anaglyph on the cover, and what can I say? Here. <laughs> That's how it looks if it's converted to real 3D.
Doesn't that look beautiful? You bet it does. I really adore Ray 3D Zone's work. He's the master of converting 2D comics to 3D comics. Voila! Here is the, the blue record, the blue vinyl. It's a pity I can't play all those songs because um, I, it's too, too, I, I can't pay for it. <laughs> it just costs too much. So, next one. Another 45. Done by the German punk group Grabby Things. Grabby Things from Berlin. This, it's an EP, it has four songs on it. It's called Pictures. The four songs are Pictures, Reptile Blood, Dope and Turn to Somebody. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna show you something, okay? Well, here you see it. I'm not so sure the person who did the, the graphics knew what they were doing. Because the photo itself is uh, quite nice in 3D, but the background is somewhere it shouldn't be. And look at the back. <laughs> This woman doesn't look natural. She is okay. She, she does look quite nice, but uh, she has very weird proportions. And what can I tell you? A little fairy flew by and told me, hey, I got the original photos that led to this cover. Do you want to see them? <laughs> and I said, yes, come on, show them to me. And here they are. These are the original photos from the photo session. Yes. <laughs> Whoops! The vinyl is also colored in here. <laughs> and here is the next record. It's a long playing record from Germany. The band is called Extra Breit. Extra Broad. Welch ein Land, was für Männer. What a country, what man. It has been released in, pff, I think, 1982 or 83. When the 3D craze was just in the cinemas and in television, when you even in Germany could watch a Creature from the Black Lagoon or um, It Came from Outer Space in Anaglyph 3D on, the, on television, which my parents didn't allow me. Big, big, deep trauma. <laughs> And we want to see it in this Creed 3D. Yes? You want? Okay. Here, you get it. Pew! Yeah, it's hyper stereo, I would say. I did the best to uh, separate the two views from the cover. I scanned the cover with my scanner <laughs> in two parts and then I stitched them together and then I tried to separate it. It's a nice thing to have. I, I put all my records on the wall so I can see them anytime when I walk into my living room. What do we have here? This one. This one comes first. <laughs> I bought this in the 1980s. It was at reduced price, one or two Deutschmarks, one or two dollars around. And it's a 3D music cassette. And it still has the, the tiny glasses inside. It's music by Nile Rodgers. And I had just had to have it because in the 1980s my, my collection was very, very small and I had just had to buy everything I saw uh, which had a connection to 3D. It hasn't much changed, <laughs> but nowadays I have a very large collection. So here we are. So this thing is also has also been released on LP, on long playing records. But what does the cover look like if it's really converted to... Eh, you know what I mean. That's what it looks like. Quite nice. It's also a brutal, brutal hyper stereo effect. And if you're watching the record cover with anaglyph glasses, yeah, with a lot of light, it, it really works good. But the discrete 3D is much better, as you have seen. <laughs> One record after the other. Mondo Drive-In, a very cool sampler. This is one of my favorite records. It has a converted 3D graphics on the front and the back. It's printed in verse, so you have the red filter uh, to put it over the right eye. And it looks like this. Very nicely done. Could watch this for hours on end. 
It's a record from 1997. Great record, get it, put it on the wall, watch it with 3D glasses. <gasps> What's this? This is a record from the 1970s and it still has its original glasses attached. These glasses were meant to uh, let you pull them out from the cover to watch the anaglyph artwork. There's even a poster inside there. And it's a, a record Shine on, Shining On by Grand Funk, which were formerly known as Grand Funk Railroad. This is the poster. It's in 3D anaglyph and this is the cover. And if you're wondering what this may look like if it's uh, in discrete 3D, that's how it looks like. This is the poster. Yeah, it's not that sophisticated. It has one, two, three, four layers. This is the back cover. This is this really looks good, huh? This really looks beautiful. And this is the front cover. And as I was separating these two anaglyph sides, it occurred to me that voila, the back cover and the front cover are at uh, are one cover. So if I could fold it flat, then I had a a long image. The question is, has this record ever been released with a folding cover? I don't know. I didn't dig that much into the depth of the <laughs> internet. But if we want to see it, how it could... As, there's just this little um, part missing. But now here you see the, the, the back part and here the front part. Moment. Just a moment. And then here so. Yes. Here is the one part and here is the other part, so you can see uh, what it might have been looking. I really like this cover. It looks very good and the glass is still attached. It's really a wonder. So now for a record that I do love so much. It's this one. Oh, it's a CD. Yes, it's a CD. It's a CD that has an, a decal. I think this is called in, in English, of Deutsch, and in German it was an Aufkleber. It's a CD done by the Cramps. The Cramps is the one band that I am loving since pff, 30 years, 40 years, it could be, and I will never cease to love this band. I saw these guys two times, real live on stage, one time in 1997 in Los Angeles, in Hollywood, on Halloween. They've been playing together with Guitar Wolf and another band I forgot about. It was so loud. One week after my ears were still bleeding because I haven't been at a concert with such a loudness in Germany ever until this moment. The, the peeps and the feeping, the, the, the noise went away. I was very happy about this. But this is a, a CD with a anaglyph cover. It's called Off the Bone. It's some kind of best of CD. This is one of the decals I bought at the concert. I still have it. The other one I, I glued to my guitar. We want to see this in a very good quality enlarged and therefore I bought the, the long playing record. This is the original long playing record. The Cramps. It's in no, black vinyl. The Cramps Off the Bone. Got a beautiful backside, got a beautiful front, in 3D, in anaglyph, and here it is, separated by the man himself, me. The Cramps. Music really can't get any better. It was, was really, really hard in 2009 when Lux Interior died. This was one of the moments I really cried at home, because I don't know what it is, the music is of such rawness. And at the meantime, of such warm and tender personality, I mean, you have this, this, this huge guy, Lux Ontario, on stage, and he's given a hell of a show. And each time you see him, you see he's not a hard or a bad person. He's really a, a really great guy. And he was a fan of 3D, I read, and this makes him even more uh, likable to me. But what is the next thing I want to present to you? I have shown you all my vinyls. Now we come to the uh, CD compact disc section. So let me start with something that resembles uh, a little bit to the uh, Mireille Mathieu cover. It's this the CD. It's 
from the Bullet Boys. The CD is called uh, Freak Show. And if you open the box, bleh, fall something out, you have a CD here, there's an eye on it. And then you can do it like this. It's a viewer. You have to view through the eye and then you see a man in the back, a man who uh, holds his hands before his face and there's a woman smoking a cigarette and another woman with glasses. And it's a little bit, I don't know, <laughs> it's a freak show, you can say. We have lots of funny printings here on the side. Doodle doodle doodle. And doodle doodle doodle. <laughs> well then, here we got something very special. It's a CD, it's an anthology of the band Devo. Yay! And it's a lenticular cover. It's engraved in the CD box. It's not glued on, it's engraved in this plastic box here. And it's um, a little bit three-dimensional what you're seeing here, but there's also movement involved. The CD is called Pioneers Who Got Sculpted. And you're seeing the four Devo guys um, tied to yeah, whatever it is. And you can see flying axes if you're trying to see it. I don't know if we get it done here <laughs> with the camera and without reflection. I'm giving my best. And on the back we have even uh, another little scene in lenticular 3D with movement. This is really something I did not see very much. In fact, this is the only CD I have with that effect. Yeah, let's do it like this. Whee! What is this? This is the next cover I'm showing you. This time it's a CD only. I could have bought the vinyl also, but it will do. It will show what I want to show you. This is not a 3D cover at all, but as we are all 3D aficionados, we are looking at everything that is something uh, doubled or tripled in any place in the world with our free viewing, parallel or cross viewing view. And if you do this with this cover, you can see that it is a hidden 3D cover. I'm gonna show you. One, two... <laughs> All right, it is, eh? I'm not a liar, I'm not a liar. You have to use the cross-free viewing technique on this cover. Jean-Michel Charles Equinox. I like it very much and the cover is also very good. And now for the, let's say, Holy Grail of 3D covers. Tool! Tool! This is the CD 10,000 Days. It has a built-in stereoscope. It has a built-in set of 3D photos and graphics, which you can watch with this viewer. And it's really, really cool. It's well done. The photos are great. The graphics are great. And this wouldn't be Mondo Stereo, the world in three dimensions, if I wouldn't have scanned all those cards in for you to watch them in discrete 3D on your 3D monitor. And here we go. One after the other. So we have this one. And then we have this one. It starts in like this, and then we have another one. If you want to stay with one of the images, just hit the pause button. And then you can watch it as long as you like, because it's a really a lot of photos. So this one is also very nice here. Yay! <laughs> this one, and this one, and another one. So, and here we reached the end. There still is the receipt inside. When did I bought buy this CD? I bought it uh, May the 5th, 2006. <laughs> In Berlin. 
it cost 15 euros. Yeah. What I didn't buy at the time was this. <laughs> Another CD done by Tool and it's a DVD as far as I remember. It's again <laughs> with a stereoscope built in with a set of cards that you have to uh, you can place them like here and then watch them like this is one how many cards is this two two three four five five cards printed back and front as 10 10 3d images i remember there is uh, moving images on it I, I, I believe it's a dvd man tends to forget well folks i hope you did enjoy the show a little bit i don't know when i'll be back again maybe sooner maybe later we'll see it was a joy for me presenting these things i wanted to do this, do this for a lot of years now <laughs> in fact all these records have been lying around on a on a on a, on a stapel on a haufen <laughs> somewhere in the corner uh, setting on dust and now i did it yay yay i did it then have a nice day. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.